every time I come down to Texas to play a game, it's a big deal. And I kind of make it personal because, you know, when I'm back home, you know, people ask, what team, what team do you play for? I know you play football. I play for Oklahoma State. I was like, oh, Texas football too tough for you? I'm like, nah, it's not that. So every time I come down to play a Texas team, every time all the Texas players come down to play a Texas team, it's like we make it personal. And we just want to show that Oklahoma State got some dog in us too. All right, four times in a row in Austin for this program. You know, Tech, I can't remember the last time Texas Tech beat Oklahoma State. Uh, Baylor, Baylor's been pretty good, but th this team has had a, a pretty good record at TCU. I mean, is your attitude kind of reflective of why Oklahoma State's been so good when they go down south of the Red River? I don't even know, to be honest with you. I just feel like when we go, when we go down there, it just makes, I don't know, I feel, I feel like it's tougher. I don't know, and that in Texas saw you, it just makes, it's just, it brings the best out of all the Texas natives. So it's like when we come down here, it's just, we home. And you can't, well, you can't. And you've mentioned too, you brag about it at home. I mean, oh, that, yeah. that that's the wins that, that count when you're talking to the folks back home. Oh yeah, and even family members. Family members, Darren, we go for you, unless you're playing UT, or unless you're playing Baylor. And I got, I got, I got a lot of family out of Waco, and you don't know how devastated they were seeing this game. But, you know, it's, it's always, like I said, it's, it, it brings the best out of all of us. So when we come back down, when we come down to Texas to play, it's just, it motivates us to, to play a little bit harder, knowing that <clears throat> our families most likely will be in the stands. All right, let's get back to the X's and O's of this. Texas is going to want to run the football. Mm -hmm. They've got those big backs. Chris Warren, who, who did pretty good last year before he got hurt, he's back. They've also got the Porter kid, who's, mm -hmm. who's a big jumbo back. Uh, the quarterback wants to run too, Ellinger the freshman. So, uh, y you know, as a defensive lineman, you may not be rushing the passer as much, but you better clog those run lanes Saturday. Oh, yeah, and looking, looking at the scout report, we've seen that the, run, the quarterback is actually their, their leading rusher. Mm -hmm. And I like getting to touch up quarterbacks, <laughs> no matter what the circumstance. We're going to make sure he throw that ball. That's, that's, our, that's the defensive line. That's our first objective is to, is to try to get the quarterback to throw as much. And we have great DBs and great linebackers. So we get the ball in the air. They're going to come down with a lot of them. As far as the running backs, is this, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna clock holes, but more, most importantly, we're going to try to we're going to try to do something to the offensive line. We want to we want to strike fear into them. We don't want we I, defensive line wise, we don't want them to want to play football anymore. That, that this week, that's that's our mindset, and you can tell them like today in practice, we was just coming off hard on the scout uh, on the scout team. We just like coming off hard on the on good on good, and it's just it's just inside run. Four quarters, and that's and that's that's the mindset we're going to have to have, and that's the mindset we will have, and we're just going to be physical and outman them.